pertains more to the acting stuff oh. than the than the all around life stuff. Though I guess it's all the same. But um, this is something that we have talked about in class too. With me, is that approaching different roles, mm-hmm. and that it, I find that I still haven't figured out what works for me. I guess, and I wonder if yeah. you approach different things different ways, or if you feel like as an actor that you have like one certain method you use to approach everything? Mm -hmm. Or do you find that it's best to sort of just figure out what works specifically for that role or that situation? Does that? Well, to the, how to approach a role. If we look at a role as saying, oh, what side of me do you need? You want Mm -hmm. the angry side, you want the loving side, you want the confused side. This character is demanding what aspect of myself? And that's really what, what, what acting's all about and casting is all about. Look, would you please bring yourself to this role? Would you re-experience this for me? Well, sometimes certain sides of ourselves we're frightened to get to, or we've learned not to be angry, not to be sexy, not to be, because life has consequences, life outside. Mm-hmm. And so we've sat on certain aspects of ourselves, hidden it, all right? And now suddenly we've got a role we've got to do. And it asks us for that side of ourselves, and it's hard to get to an actor's term to access. And so we've got to find a method, a technique, an exercise, an approach that would get rid of our fear, which may be natural in the everyday world. It may be overdone in the everyday world, but we have it. We've learned to be afraid of that particular aspect of ourselves. Mm -hmm. And so each role, each demand is going to be a little bit different. And, and I, so we search for a toolbox. All right, uh, oh, I need Philip screwdriver for anger in order to access that side of myself. Or I need a sledgehammer because the character is asking me to be lovingly assertive. And for me, when I'm assertive, I'm always angry. We, we talked about that. Yeah, that's my problem. Yes, <laughs> and how to be lovingly assertive. Well, I may need a sledgehammer to break through this wall of fear because every time I've been lovingly assertive out there, I've been run over, or I've been taken advantage of, or someone told me, told me it was wrong and terrible. And so we built up a wall, if for no other reason than a lack of use. And now suddenly we've got to use it. Yeah. And so we try to find little things that'll trigger that, that'll open it up. You know, I was lovingly assertive once, which such a, and it was successful. Oh, I remember that time. And suddenly we find, oh, that is accessible. I can play a lovingly assertive character. Mm-hmm. I've, I've accessed it. See, I, I don't believe people lose any side of themselves. I, I don't believe in a past. I just believe in an ever-expanding present. We become this accumulation of experience and, and the emotional reservoir of all those experiences. Some are blocked away, some sides of ourselves. Some are dammed up. Others are more accessible. And so it's just finding a way to allow that to flow through, to yeah. break through the dam. And that's what, you know, the exercise. And I think for each role it's different, for each time in one's life. When I was very young, anger was very hard for me to get at. Then I became very accessible to anger. <laughs> now I'm getting less accessible. And also, what time of day? I generally can get angrier in the morning when I have more energy than at night. So yeah. various times we are ever changing, ever shifting, and so there is no one size fits all. Yeah, because I f- I feel like sometimes people are like, this is what I do, and it works every time. But that mm. I haven't found that ever works for me, because let's say I, I like to ride the buses. What bus should I take? Well, where are you, and where are you going? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. there's no one bus fits all. <laughs> you know? That would be uh, awesome. <laughs> that would be wonderful, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. But it's all according to where you're trying to get to. Oh, what bus goes there? And then, oh, where am I now? And therefore, what is the bus that fits where I am now and where I'm going to? And that varies, unfortunately. Now, yeah. until we get very successful, perhaps, uh, in terms of our learning, and we can buy a limousine and a driver and then we can use that bus anywhere, but nobody's developed that yet for acting, a yeah. one-size-fits-all. And so we've got to develop a toolbox. That's part of the, uh, the classroom experience, is what tool works for you in order to access 
that particular emotion uh, that uh, the character seems to be demanding I live so that I can fulfill those demands. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, mm -hmm. totally.